What's up AUDL fans, Daniel Cohen here with another Tiger Bomb Film Room. Today we're going to be looking at the Dallas Roughnecks and how they keep defenses off balance by using give and goes. In this clip we're looking at Abe Coffin, a quick handler who excels at keeping the disc moving. He starts by hitting cutter Kevin Richardson on an in cut, and you'll see he immediately follows his throw to get the disc right back. This idea of following the throw on offense keeps defenders off balance because of the time it takes to react to the throw. In this case with a loose mark, the rally defender is able to keep up with Coffin, but even running stride for stride, Coffin has the advantage as he can stop short of Richardson for the easy dump. Now after getting the disc back, Coffin looks upfield and sees cutter Thomas Slack running towards him. With Raleigh forcing backhand, Coffin is able to lean into his throw, getting his forward momentum going as he releases the disc. His pivot to the backhand side acts as his first step as he takes off downfield to again follow the throw. This time, he has his man beat by several steps and finds himself in power position. Leaning into that backhand gave him a significant advantage on the give and go because he's already off running before his mark can react to the throw. When he gets the disc back from Slack, Coffin is able to survey the entire field without a defender in his way. And when the mark finally does set up, Coffin is able to throw an outside in flick that curves around the entire pack. Having that extra time to read the field allowed him to find teammate Dalton Smith in the end zone, who had nothing but open space between him and the far sideline. Had the mark been there, he could have read Coffin's eyes and taken away the crossfield look. But since he got there late due to the give and go, he was left out of position and Coffin was able to easily put the throw exactly where it needed to be. Thanks for watching everyone, and be sure to join us next time in the Tiger Bomb film room.